Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to teach you uh, something very important that most YouTubers and people who would like to do live streaming would love to know. So this is about getting a clean HDMI out from your uh, Canon EOS HD, uh, I mean Canon EOS uh, Mark I, Mark II or any Canon EOS uh, cameras, how to get a clean HDMI out. Currently, this is the kind of HDMI out I get. You see the, the line in, in the middle? Uh, that's useless. That's useless. So this is how I'm selecting my sources and uh, I'm getting a line. I'm getting a line in the middle. So how, if I push this again, I get all that, you know, information that I don't need. If I push it again, I get the display information and all that, which I don't need. I want a completely clean HDMI without the box, without the little square box. And how can I do that? That's what you're going to learn today. Uh, by default, the original firmware that comes with Canon doesn't allow you to completely eliminate that HDMI. Um, uh, the uh, clean HDMI or eliminate completely the on-screen menus, or I should say overlays of on-screen information. In order to do that, you have to mm, download a firmware from a company called, let me show you, companies called uh, Magic Lantern. So let's first see where we stand as far as uh, the cameras are, are concerned. So this is the current camera and uh, I'm going to unplug this to show you the firmware and everything. So let me actually, you know what, let me switch to the top camera because this camera doesn't show me enough information. Let's see, there's the top camera. So uh, let me remove this, I don't need this. Okay, so right here, I'm going to show you how to see what's your firmware version. To, in order to do that, you go to menu, and normally, your when you go to menu, this is your original screen. Normally, this is your normal thing, uh, normal screen. Your this is where your screen is going to land. Now, but you don't want that. You, what you want to do is you want to go to the right, all the way until you see the firmware information. And there is my firmware, version 2.1.2. That's exactly the firmware that they say they support. So I feel very comfortable to do this firmware flash. In order to do that, the first thing you need to do, the first thing you need to do is get a, a compact flash, uh, you know, card and format that compact flash card using uh, your camera okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a compact flash card let's see which card am I gonna take here okay I guess this card is good enough this is only one gigabyte I could do it with this one but it's only one gigabyte I'm not gonna do it with a one gigabyte card so I'm gonna get this 32 gigabyte extreme okay I'm going to put it inside I'm going to double check, make sure nothing is in there that I need. Okay, the card was empty. So watch as I, let me zoom out a little bit so you could see better. I mean, you could see more area. I'm going to turn off the camera. Open the, uh, oh, I had a card here already. I'll put this one because it's much more reliable. When I close it, the camera is going to read the cart. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on. Now you have to format this cart in your camera. You have to format it in this camera. Okay, so you go to menu and you see the top uh, choose the first wrench icon. 
see there are the range icons choose the first one the first range icon and then scroll to format and hit enter it's, it's telling you would you like to format scroll the this one to click OK and enter format is complete turn off the camera okay now what you need to do is take your card take it out once you took it out now you have to put this card in your computer this is the home page of this uh, website so you go and download the one that matches your camera you know there are so many different ones the one for me is 5d mark 2 which I'm going to download and then I click here download start see I downloaded multiple times I'm doing this again to sh uh, to sh teach you go to show in folder right click and then you right click on this and click on extract and there is your extracted files you need to copy all of this to that f uh, to that uh, memory card that you just format it okay so uh, that's what I'm going to do so I'm gonna put in that memory card I inserted the memory card it's gonna appear any minute now if it didn't then I'm gonna go seek for it there it is these are the default folders that were in there what I need to do is I need to drag this and let it go here that's all I need to do it's 3.16 megabytes so it's pretty simple I mean pretty small file the original firmware that's in the camera it's 16 megabytes so it's a lot bigger this is not totally replacing the original this is running in parallel with the original so keep that in mind okay so now I'm going to close this take my flash card out so now we are going back to our camera the very card that has all that information that we downloaded we're going to put it in okay now when you turn it on you see some kind of a uh, like uh, BIOS ROM setup this and that don't worry about that turn it on okay now here's what we need to do you go to menu and you go to the firmware or there it is firmware and you go click OK and you click update you click on update okay this is the part that I'm going to zoom in because you need to pay attention be very careful because this is by the way you're doing this at your own risk because I mean it works for most people but you know just to be I don't want to be responsible if your cameras firmware is uh, ruined uh, or flash ROM is ruined because I did this on an old 5d mark II camera so you don't want to you might not want to take a risk on a brand new camera do it on an old one see if it's successful then you know go ahead with the new ones and that's why the company is also uh, you know issuing a disclaimer that they're not responsible if the process is not successful okay let's do upgrade okay so now just wait for it to update it says please wait magic lantern install backing up ROM see it's backing up your orig original ROM so please restart your camera it says so I'm going to turn it off turn it off and I'm going to turn it back on okay now the camera and the initial boot up appears to be the same as what it used to be before however if you press the delete twice it brings the uh, magic uh, uh, magic lantern uh, firmware you press delete twice this is the interface of the magic lantern firmware as a matter of fact see even the microphone of the camera is catching up my voice okay in this screen you have to go to the menu on the very top which shows a uh, it looks like a little uh, mountain but that's actually uh, 
uh, barcodes. Uh, I mean, uh, it's a graph. It's a graph is what it is. Right here, you have to disable all from global draw. The global draw must be off in order for it to not omit uh, on-screen display. So click on OK and scroll to off. Scroll to off and you're done. Okay? And you're done. Yeah. And basically, let's go here and let's see everything else is good you don't have to worry about the rest about the hdmi 16 by 9 and all that because you do have the 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 setup uh, which you don't have to worry because you you will be using a, a video editing program so that's why you don't have to worry about those things anyways so let's now we are up uh, ready to go let's go to hdmi mode so i'm going to plug in my camera okay so i plugged in my camera and i'm gonna press this which is the video video shooting now i'm gonna go to the front camera okay so i plugged in this okay now i'm going to go to dual mode first you will see the little bar watch okay first you will see it okay Okay, okay, you did, I, uh, for, oh, you see that little box in the middle? See, by my neck, uh, by, by my chin, uh, I mean, yeah, chin, by my chin, there's a little box. How to eliminate that box? I will teach you that. You see the autofocus? I must switch to manual focus. Those are the autofocus dots. You cannot have autofocus. It must be manual focus. where is the manual focus there you go okay so basically i had to switch to manual focus because when you're doing live streaming you have to be in manual focus anyways okay so i'm going to show you this clean hdmi from a canon canon 5d now notice something actually let me switch to 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 this just to this canon let me switch to this notice something at the top and bottom of, of uh, the screen, uh, you see black bars. Those bars show your 16 by 9 recording range because normally your recording range is 4 by 3 in these cameras. So you have to change it to 16 by 9. And basically, the, anything that is below this bar and above this bar is not going to be included when you are editing it in a 16 by 9 format software okay but the bottom line is that now i have a clean hdmi beautifully uh you know being output and all that all right i hope you learned something from this video and please make sure to like and subscribe okay now the original firmware which was in the camera or on the camera the original firmware has been backed up on the same uh, you know uh, flash drive uh, let me turn this off okay so the same flash drive i'm gonna unplug it okay has your original firmware so if you want a copy of your original firmware backed up which is highly recommended you have to take this and plug it into your computer and copy your original firmware okay so now i'm gonna put this on the pc and copy the original firmware let's see i plugged it in okay so now i'm going to show you where the backed up files are let me put the correct memory card okay so i'm going to refresh so that's the eos digital card the backed up files that were copied from your, my camera are inside ml inside logs and these are the two what you need to do is you need to save these in your computer or on a flash drive somewhere safe because these are the original 
backups of your camera's firmware. So basically, if you want to ever, if you ever want to switch back to its original, this is the one that will switch it back to the original. Okay. So I'm going to save that somewhere and I go from there. Once you do this firmware upgrade, it's not the end of the world as far as your uh, recording is concerned uh, or camera is concerned because right now if I put back the old flash drive and turn my camera back on I have the same old Canon original firmware no difference absolutely no difference let me show you this from the other angle as well So if I go here to menu, oops, and let's see a firmware. Am I on? Hold on a second. Okay, there you go. You have to be in manual. You know better than that. Those are the things that you should know. I don't need to tell you that. So there is my original firmware same thing so now if I exit the this doesn't work that the double tap doesn't work because the original the card has been removed the camera will boot on its original firmware and it's not gonna boot on the aftermarket uh, magic lantern firmware if I do want it to boot with the magic lantern firmware I turned off the camera I put back my modified firmware flash, uh, I mean compact flash disk or compact flash memory card, whatever you want to call it. Turn it on. It's going to boot off of this. And now I have that option of double tapping this and getting my Magic Lantern firmware. There you go. That's my Magic Lantern firmware. And I have a lot more options that Canon doesn't even offer. All these options that you see up top, Canon does not offer that. Look at that microphone thingy. I mean, analog, 23 decibels, this and that. You have a lot of setups. It basically gives your camera a new personality with more advanced interface and setup and more advanced controllability that you can customize it based on your needs. So, this was a winner. This was a successful Canon uh, EOS HD uh, Mark II. Now this 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 whole camera setup the body is like I don't know five six hundred maybe four four hundred if you get a used one the lens is where the money is these are lenses are expensive but the, this whole setup is under a thousand to get a full frame high definition mm, uh, full frame video quality in your live broadcasting or recording so I hope you enjoy this please don't forget to like and subscribe.